Now we can talk about dividing fractions. And look at this example. 3 halves divided by 4 sevenths. We have one fraction divided by another. Now how do we do this? Well, we have a simple rule which you should write down. I'm going to write it here and write this down. This is not hard, but this is something you should learn. Dividing by a fraction Dividing by a fraction, and that's what we have here. We're dividing by four-sevenths. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'll write dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. So instead of dividing by 4 sevenths, that will be the same thing as multiplying by 7 fourths. So it turns out that any time we divide by a fraction, we can use this concept to change the division problem into a multiplication problem. And multiplying fractions is something we already know how to do. So let's see how this concept applies in this example. 3 halves divided by 4 sevenths. Let's go ahead and write 3 halves times 7 fourths. And that's it. It's that easy. Instead of dividing by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. And then 3 times 7 is 21, and 2 times 4 is 8. So that's our answer. Now let's look at a few more examples and I'll make a few comments along the way as I work through these examples. Okay, first one, 2 ninths divided by 4 thirds. Well, instead of dividing by 4 thirds, that will be the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 4 thirds. So let's rewrite this. Instead of 2 ninths divided by this, I'll write 2 ninths times the reciprocal of this. So 2 ninths times 3 fourths. And I would recommend always doing this step. When you have a division by a fraction, go ahead and rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So, and then, then we can solve this, and we can reduce this a little bit before we solve. The 3 and the 9 will reduce to a 1 and a 3, and the 2 and the 4 here will reduce to a 1 and a 2, and so we end up with 1 over 6, 1 sixth for the answer. Okay, the next one, 4 fifths divided by 6 sevenths. Okay, I'm going to write 4 fifths times, and instead of dividing by the fraction, I multiply the reciprocal of the fraction. That will be 7 over 6. Let me make another point. Notice that this fraction was flipped over. Instead of 7 sixths, or instead of 6 sevenths, we have 7 sixths. So dividing by fractions always involves uh, flipping the fraction over, taking the reciprocal. So don't get too hasty about flipping the fraction over. Some people, when they see a problem like this, they automatically start flipping fractions over. And they see this and they write, okay, 4 fifths, let's write 5 fourths, and then times, and 6 sevenths, we write 7 sixths. Can you see what's wrong with that? This 5 fourths, that's the mistake. I'm dividing by 6 sevenths. That's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 6 sevenths. So this fraction gets flipped over. But this one doesn't. That one should not be flipped over. The fraction that you are dividing by gets uh, flipped upside down. But the other one stays the same. So let's do this. Let's reduce the 4 and the 6. That will reduce to a 2 and a 3. And so we end up with 2 times 7, which is 14, and 5 times 3, which is 15. 14 fifteenths. Okay, two more examples. 3 sevenths divided by negative 9 halves. Okay, let's rewrite it as a multiplication problem. This will be 3 sevenths times 2 over negative 9. And this negative sign here, you could put it up there. That would be fine too. Negative 2 over ninths. Ne negative 2 ninths. Either way would be okay. 
but we can reduce this a little bit also. The 3 becomes a 1 and the 9 becomes a 3. Our answer will be negative because we have one number multiplied by another and one of them is negative. So multiply the numerators, 1 times 2 is 2 and multiply the denominator, 7 times 3 is 21. 2 over 21 and it's negative. So negative 2 over 21 is the answer. And then one more, negative 4 thirds divided by negative 8 ninths. Let's start by rewriting it as a multiplication problem. I'm going to write 4 thirds times, and this fraction I take the reciprocal of, 9 over 8. Now you'll notice I didn't put the negative signs. You could have, but I recognize that a negative number and a negative number will give me a positive answer. So those two negative signs basically cancel out. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate them there. And then let's see, does this simplify some? Yes, it does. The 4 and the 8 reduce to a 1 and a 2. And the 3 and the 9 reduce to a 1 and a 3. And so we get 3 over 2, 3 halves. So negative 4 thirds divided by negative 8 ninths is positive 3 halves. But in all of these examples, we see this one very important rule showing up. Dividing by a fraction is always the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction.